Well, hello crafters and welcome back. My name is Deepa from Designs by D and I have another Spellbinders release video to share with you. And this one's featuring the Stitched Letters collection. Now this is a very cool collection because it includes all of the letters of the alphabet and they have the little stitching dots, that stitching element that you can add to your die cut sentiments. So you could use the dies to cut out your letters and use them as is, or you could actually use your floss or thread to stitch them and kind of jazz them up a bit. Now you can see in some of these cards here that I have stitching in more unconventional in different ways. And that's actually another video that I've created another tutorial. I'll have it posted on May 17th. Uh, please go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when that video is posted because I've got a bunch of different patterns to show you. So now let's get to the products. So I have six letters, H-E-L-Y-O-U, and I just thought these would work to create sentiments. And you can buy as many of these as you want. They do come separately. I've got them here on one magnetic sheet just so that I've got them all together. But just so you know, they are sold separately, um, not as a set. But they work well with these sentiment uh, plates that come will not come with it, but you can also buy along with this collection. It's called the Stitch Alphabet Note Sentiments, and they're basically made to be used with all of these letters. So I actually have some of this beautiful light pink glitter foam that Spellbinders released last month, and I'm gonna use it to cut out all of my letters. So actually for all three cards that I made for this collection, I used the glitter foam to cut out the letters because I just I really love the look of the glitter foam. It really highlights those dies nicely and brings your attention to them right away. It creates a beautiful focal point on your card and I just think it stands out nicely. Now as you see here you can't really see all of the little dots so you could use this as is like this if you don't want to add the stitching. You could poke out all the little dots which you can see on the other side here and when you poke them out you can use them with the holes so that it has like a bit of a pattern or like I'm gonna do, you can go ahead and stitch them. So I've gone ahead and cut out not only the actual stitching portion, but there's a shadow die that comes with it. And I cut that out of some rose gold um, mirror cardstock. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get to the stitching. Before I attach this to that shadow, I've gotta get the stitching done, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to access it. So I've cut up some white floss here. And as you can see, it comes in, um, like a bunch of six threads. I actually separate it and take two of the threads because if you use the entire floss, it's gonna be really hard to stitch your, um, your letter here. And I like to fasten it down with some tape at the back. You don't have to do this, you can use different methods. But um, I found that this works for me. And even though that tape covers the holes, remember you're using a needle. So the needle is gonna pierce through that tape. It's not too thick and it's see-through so you don't have to worry too much. Not only do you not see the tape, it holds your thread in place and it actually adds a bit of structure to your cardstock or the foam here in this case. Now I'm just gonna do the typical stitching that most people tend to do, which is what I like to call the star. So I'm just stitching kind of like out through the outer circle and in through the center circle. And you will notice that these dies are made in such a way that the center circle is a little bigger because they know that you're gonna be going through that a bunch of times and that the thread is gonna kind of collect there and, and create a bigger bunch than the rest of the circles that make up the stitch. So there it is completed. I've sewn all of them. I did the Y-O-U. And now if I had planned this card out better, I probably would not have done the O, but I will refer to that later on and you'll get what I mean. <laughs> For now, let's go ahead and attach this. So I'm using the Barely Arts liquid glue here and I'm using it to attach the foam. Now I went ahead and did it this way but because that mirror cardstock is so slippery it takes a while for that glue to actually adhere so I find that adding the acrylic block on top really helps to just weigh it down and make sure that it sticks to your shadow really well and so that that foam doesn't kind of come off. If I did it again I probably would have used some strong double-sided adhesive like Be Creative or Scorpel tape that would work perfectly with this. So I went ahead and continued adding all of my three letters. So the U is my main focal point and I'm actually gonna put these on a slim line card in the portrait orientation. 
Now before I actually add these letters to the background, I do want to jazz it up a bit. So I'm actually going to be using this uh, floral plate here. It's called the Sweet Blooms Border. It's a bit of an older plate by Spellbinders, but it is really nice. And I'm just going to take some rose gold foil in... Actually, I don't think this is rose gold. This is blush foil. And I'm going to use it to kind of add this beautiful floral background to the white of my card. And you can see that that border, because this is a slim slimline card, it's not long enough to cover the entire length of the edge. You could have done it twice along each edge, but I actually am going to do it one on all four edges. So what I meant was twice on the left edge and twice on the right edge, but I decided to do it once on the top, bottom, left and right. So as you can see, I'm kind of having the plate hanging off a bit because it's not going to completely fit on top. I'll cut off the excess foil and this is important because if you don't do this it's going to foil that image onto your shim right here. So you want to make sure you cut off the excess then once you peel that off you can see it foiled so nicely and I'm kind of putting it at a bit of an angle you can see because that's just the way that the border goes. You don't have to do it perfectly, but if you do get some overfoiling, I have my Couture Creations eraser, and if you don't have that, you can use a Tombow Mono Sand Eraser. And you just kind of go over all of those little bits of extra foiling, and it comes off so nicely. Now, because this is a background, you don't have to worry too much. You're going to put those beautiful stitched glitter letters over top of this, so no one's really going to notice all these little bits. If you really have a spot that you can't get off and it's bugging you, just stick a gem on top of it at the end, and that'll cover it up. It's not a big deal, and you don't have to trash it. So let's go ahead and take those sentiments. I'm going to take the one longer sentiment, which says a note from me to you, which is going to complete my sentiment, which is why I've used the Y-O-U for the main focal point. And again, I foiled it with the same um, foil, the blush foil. And I chose the blush because it's just a little less intense than the rose gold. And I don't want it to kind of drown those letters. I want those main focal point letters to stand out. Now I have this Christmas set here. I'm actually just using it for the sentiment strip. Now this sentiment is a bit bigger than some. So I usually use my mini everyday sentiment strips, but as I said, this is a little bigger. So this bigger sentiment strip works well. And I'm just gonna do some partial die cutting here to get it to the size that I want it. Now this is a really easy technique to do. You just kind of place that sentiment strip back in and it just fits in and cuts nicely. Now, the next thing I want to do is lay down my letters, but before I do that, I want to find the very center of my card. So, first of all, I'll find the center along the bottom, so I get basically the size of it and divide it in half and make a little tick mark. Then I line up my ruler with that tick mark along the vertical side and find the middle there and create that little dot. So here, that's how I center my middle letter. Now, this is a large letter and I purposely kind of put it a bit further up rather than completely in the center because at first I was going to put my sentiment strip right at the bottom of the Y-O-U. And then I changed my mind later on. I mean, things happen, but it's not a big deal. You can't really tell it's not completely in the center in the final card. So I've attached those three letters, and now is where I kind of decided, okay, I kind of want to put that sentiment in the center of the, the U, sorry, the O. So I'm using some strong double-sided adhesive here. Remember, this is glitter foam. So normal adhesive is going to take a while to kind of really get tacky and adhere. So I just wanted this done kind of quickly, so I used that. And now to add some floral elements, I've got this set, which was the dye, the large dye of the month for last month, and it's the Kaleidoscope Floral Slimline. Correction, it's not from last month, it's from March. And I find that those little flowers match very nicely with these other flowers from the mini bloom set. So I've gone ahead and cut those out, some out of some rose gold cardstock, some of its mirror rose gold, some of its matte rose gold, and then I've also got some rose gold pearl cardstock. Now all of these cardstock come in a Sizzix cardstock pack that I get. I'll have it linked in the description. Sorry, not in the description. My blog will be linked in the description and the products can be found linked within my blog. Now everything that I'm using today is linked there, including all of these beautiful new products by Spellbinder. So go ahead and check it out. If you are inspired by me, I would greatly appreciate if you shop through the links that I have, which are affiliate links which basically um, give me a bit of a commission on your order. 
with no extra cost at all to you. So it's just because I'm helping show these beautiful products to you that I get a little bit extra. And like I said, would greatly appreciate it because it helps me bring more of these videos to you and more inspiration. So now that I've kind of attached the, uh, the background there, the panel to the cardstock base, it's just a plain white cardstock base. Um, the full size of this card is actually nine inches by four inches so it's a big slim line but it's still gonna fit in I think it's an A10 sized envelope so not to worry it's gonna fit it's not gonna be a big deal and your person's gonna get your person your recipient is gonna get a really nice card in the end so now I'm just taking all those little flower sprigs and the little floral bits and I'm just adding it around those beautifully stitched letters and because I've used the rose gold kind of theme here, I kind of stuck with that with the other two cards that I made. Unfortunately, I don't have a full video for those two cards, but I will be posting little short reels on my Instagram account. Um, and I'll also be posting them here on YouTube. So if you're subscribed and you've got your notification bell on for this channel, you'll definitely see them. Otherwise, you can also follow me on Instagram at Designs by D. All those reels are going to be posted there as well, if you are curious. Now, to finish these off, there are these beautiful sparkling champagne um, pearls by Pink Fresh that I'm going to add. So everything fits that rose gold, pinky metallic type um, feel for this card. So I only really use this on the centers of the flowers and just a little bit around the background. And then I've also got my AB Crystal Nail Art Gems, which I use in all of my cards. And I'm just gonna add them to the centers of these little stitched stars. Now when you do this, add a little bit more glue because what happens is your thread kind of absorbs the glue. So by the time you actually go to put the gem on it, <laughs> the glue's kind of missing. So just add a tiny bit more and it'll adhere perfectly. So that's my final card for you today. This beautiful, a note from me to you, slimline stitched glitter foam focal point card. I hope that this video has inspired you to create something similar. Don't forget to check out these products, which are all linked within my blog, which is linked in the description below. Now, these are the three cards I made for this collection. So you can see that beautiful pink or rose gold card there. I've got another card where I featured more teal colors. And then the final card, which features some beautiful purples. And you'll notice that the stitching on all three of these cards is a little different. I have a video that I'll be posting on May 17th. So don't forget to as I said subscribe and hit the notification bell here you'll be notified when that's posted and I'm going to be sharing seven ways to do different types of stitching on these stitched letters so I hope that you're interested I hope that you have been inspired I hope that you like my video and all of that great stuff don't forget to have a great weekend and I'll see you all next time bye